On the 11th day of Nintendo Christmas, Lithium recommended to me collectible accessories. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, essentially today is December the 24th, Merry Christmas Eve to all of you. Tomorrow is Christmas, I'm getting very excited. This video I'm going to talk about random Nintendo related items that would probably be great as a stocking stuffer or just as last minute items that maybe you could pick up somewhere near where you live. Before I get started, I just want to mention the giveaway winner for Ocarina Time 3D or Mario Kart 7 will be announced at the end of the video, of course stay tuned for that. And the giveaway today is an accessory related to Nintendo. This I think I gave away one of these two years ago or something like that. This is a soundtrack for Super Smash Brothers. It's official, it's from Club Nintendo. This one is actually opened. It does come with both soundtracks, red and blue. So this is not quite brand new, but it's a really awesome soundtrack actually. And then in combination with that you will also get to choose, I had a few of these throughout history, but you'll get to choose a Princess Peach pack for the 3DS or for the not 2DS, I don't think it'll fit your 2DS, but for your new Nintendo 3DS or your 3DS XL or DSi or anything like that, you can choose between Peach and Mario and you get the CD as well. All you have to do is number one, subscribe to the channel of course and click that bell notification symbol to make sure that you see my videos as they come up. Number two, like this video, still aiming for 1,000 likes one of these times, hopefully we hit it. And number three, if you could ask for any Nintendo related item in your stocking, what would it be? Or perhaps it would be full of Nintendo related items in your stocking. So make sure you enter the giveaway for those items today. Collectible items, there's so many to choose from or to discuss. So first of all, here is a Legend of Zelda box set, and this is actually a manga, or manga, depending on how you want to pronounce it, set of books for The Legend of Zelda, which is really interesting. If you go into Indigo or any sort of bookstore, they do have a lot of different books related to Nintendo, which is a lot of fun to read through and look at. Another one of the books that I do want to mention, of course, kind of related to books, is the Nintendo Power Magazine. I have so many issues, but I'm actually still missing about 70 of them from my collection, and I have quite a few doubles right now. I need to figure out how to make trades. This is the Nintendo Power 50 issue. This has, obviously, Link's Awakening on the front. So Nintendo Power magazines would be a wonderfully good idea, I think, perhaps to consider giving away this holiday season. There's other books out there that I have, like Nintendo's History, but other ones that I want to mention is the Prima Guide series. I do have a box of The Legend of Zelda, of course, with six of them in that. This one's actually for Twilight Princess HD. So these exist, and they're awesome, and they're very well detailed, and they also have maps and different things like that. So these ones usually cost about $20 each. You could highly consider giving those away in terms of books this holiday season. If you also go into certain stores, sometimes they have activity books. This is usually available in Toys R Us. They're free. This would make a great stocking stuffer. This just has different things like a crossword puzzle and like matching and kind of going throughout like this little course. So this is actually really neat just to pick up for free as a stocking stuffer, even a word search with some Pokemon on it, which is really awesome. So that's kind of neat in terms of a book as well. Next up, there's DVDs and Blu-rays. Super Mario Bros. 3 is absolutely hilarious, actually, to watch. It's so bad that it's good, and there's a lot of jokes about that angry son, and he's not too bright, haha, and things like that. So actually, there's quite a few DVDs out there for Nintendo as well. Now, beyond that, let's get into some other items. So there are some collectible figurines that you can get that are not like World of Nintendo and they're not Amiibo. So there's quite a few of those that you can usually find. Sometimes there's even little like toy candy things that you can find that are like this. So this is kind of like a Mario Kart toy for the Nintendo DS, which is kind of interesting. Other times, with the toys, there's things like Lego, there's things like Kinects that are Nintendo related that you could pick up as well. Those usually range anywhere between like $7 all the way up to like $100 depending on the variation of the set. So that's kind of interesting as well. Then beyond that, I just want to go into other little knickknacks and there's actually this Legend of Zelda case that you can have for your 3DS. This one's really cool and pixelated. That one I found at GameStop or EB Games. There's also one for Mario that you can kind of make out all the way down there that's pixelated in the video as well. Let's stick with stocking stuffers just for a moment. So then there's the candies that you can actually get that are Nintendo related. This is a shield of course from The Legend of Zelda. Then there's also things like stars that have some candies in them and beyond that as a really cool stocking stuffer sometimes you can get some keychains. So here's a Mario and a Zelda one from Majora's Mask that's kind of interesting. The Minish Cap, not Majora's Mask, the Minish Cap. So those are really cool little stocking stuffer pieces that I just want to mention as well. And then, kind of a bigger related item, 
You can also get things like belt buckles. So this is a one-up life belt buckle that I've had for years, actually. I haven't worn that as often as I should. My personal favorite belt buckle, though, is this Paper Mario belt buckle that's pretty cool. So this one you can obviously wear on belts. And for anyone who's a Nintendo fan actually wearing things, continuing with the wearing things, actually, EB Games and GameStop have quite a few different related items like socks and hats. This is a gift to myself this Christmas. These are Zelda socks. This is from Ocarina of Time. You have Link battling against Ganon. Dorf. So these are actually really cool socks. They are official merchandise as well. This is from Ocarina of Time 3D. These are $10 in Canada. They're probably something like 6 or $7 in the United States. So socks. Never thought I'd be talking about those, but that's really cool. They also have shirts and hats, of course, as I mentioned. Continuing kind of with clothing, but not exactly. There's also pillows that you can find, especially if you're on eBay or scouring around. You can probably go into something like Walmart. Sometimes they have like a Mario Kart different pack that you can get like with a pillowcase and a twin bed sheet set. So this is a Smash Brothers pillowcase which looks really awesome. Love the coloring on this one. So of course pillows is something that you should always consider in case you can find them. It's a nice little addition that's not really part of the collection but in my case it is because pillows are all over the place in here. Next up are just other items I'll kind of randomly go through now. You can get a clock that's a Zelda related item. There was actually a Mario, I think it's a question mark block and it's actually a light as well that I was asking for. So this is a Triforce clock, but I was actually asking for that light. Hopefully I get that this Christmas. I will do a pickup pickups video of everything I get this Christmas holiday, of course, as well. Uh, other little random things. There's also things like a pin set. There's various pin sets. This is a Super Mario Maker pin set, actually, that came with the release of the game. And I can't even open it to show you, but this is for the 30th anniversary of Mario Bros. So something like that would be really unique if you can find that, actually not usually in stores anymore. Then for the collector, you might want to get something like, these are from Rose Colored Gaming. These are actually end labels for the Nintendo 64 cartridges that don't have end labels. Just wanted to mention that quite briefly because that's kind of different as well. You can make those yourself if you are interested. If your friend is into projects, then perhaps you could consider giving them some perler beads so that they could create their own little art. So here's a link from the original NES and an ocarina. I can't recall who gave me those throughout time, but thank you so much. I did thank you previously in the video. So perler beads could be a really cool gift for any sort of art artist that's looking to make some Nintendo related items. Then from various companies, actually, you do have some different things to actually store some of your content. So this is actually storing DS games or 3DS games and some of my styluses are in here as well. This is a DK barrel. It actually fits quite well with a DK Amiibo figure if you want to put that on top instead. So there are other stands that you can get for Amiibo figures. And this one I actually got, I think last Christmas or for my birthday. So thank you so much. Shout out to Colin actually and his family that got me this. This is an Amiibo stand that holds two, four, six figures. This is an end level stand kind of of Amiibo figures. So this is really interesting as well. End level display is what that's called. And then other items that you can consider. Anything from Club Nintendo, of course, is very popular. So this is a different figurine set of the Mario figures that I absolutely adore from Club Nintendo that came in this question mark box that I just want to leave maybe over there and I'll put the figurine set kind of on top of it as well so you can see it throughout this video. Then there are also items such as this shield and sword, Master Sword, from The Legend of Zelda. So that's really interesting and a lot of people are interested in these kinds of things, but they never would maybe buy this for themselves. So this is something that you could buy. Again, you can find this sometimes at Spencer's Gifts. They even have backpacks that are kind of related to this as well. So just be careful though, because this is almost sharp as a blade as well. But I do have that up in my Nintendo room. Just going to sit that down right there so you can kind of see the shield. There's also lots of different games that are out there. I have mentioned Monopoly this year already, but here is a Nintendo Monopoly. This question mark box that you see right here actually is a Yahtzee game that you could get that's Nintendo related. So there's quite a few. And there's also lots and lots of puzzles out for Nintendo as well. So there's a ton of different Nintendo related items that are out this holiday season. All right, that's pretty much most of the things that I obviously want to talk about with collectibles. Anything that you see with Nintendo Honored or Mario, I'm sure someone might love to get in their stocking. And there's so many different other little items that you could get or collect that are Nintendo related. All right. Let's get to the giveaway for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D or Mario Kart 7 if that's what you need instead. So the winner of this one is Kieran Brown, K-I-E-R-A-N Brown. Congratulations, you can message me on the About tab, email me, I'll ship this anywhere worldwide. Thanks everyone for entering. And I just want to mention one more time my giveaway for this 
actual CD soundtrack from the Super Smash Brothers called the Smashing Soundtrack will be given to one winner. You can also pick between Mario and the Peach different versions of the cases for your 3DS and things like that. So all you have to do is again, subscribe, like the video and comment below. What would you like most from your stocking, stocking or in your stocking this year? Hopefully something in this video gave you an idea for this Christmas holiday. I need to mention one more time, plug my Zelda-thon that's happening January 1st to January 3rd, almost a week away. That's insane. I also want to mention, of course, Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. It's not all about what you give or receive this holiday season. It really is spending time with friends, and I tend to have a lot of time spending time with friends or family. I tend to have a lot of fun and time spending anything. If I'm with my friends and I'm with my family and we actually maybe play some Nintendo games over the break, that's wonderful. It keeps me smiling while gaming, of course. Thank you so much for watching. You can feel free to fill that like bucket. You can also follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, keep smiling while gaming and go collect them all. Happy holidays, everyone. I wish you the best Christmas possible.